To create a daily sales entry, you can do that through a journal entry and you can get there by going to the new button in the upper left hand corner and then journal entry under other. And then to start out, you're just going to want to date it and then give it a name under journal number. Next step is to actually fill in your daily sales activity. And that's gonna be through your chart of account codes and QuickBooks. So if you haven't already, I would recommend customizing your chart of accounts to fit your specific business model. For example, if you're a restaurant, you're going to want to probably create specific income accounts for food sales, for beverage sales, on the liability side of things, if there was any sales tax collected, if there was any tips collected, the methods of payment that you received would ultimately match up to your bank activity when it's deposited, whether that be cash, or credit card payments, anything else, whether it be on the income side um, that you'd wanna see specifically broken out on your financial reports. So once you've actually finished filling out your sales activity, the first check is going to be that your debits and credits should always equal each other. And if they don't, then you can't actually save your journal entry. If you are a multi-location restaurant, or if you want to track your sales separately by region or location, you can do that through the location or class tracking features in QuickBooks, which can be turned on in the account and settings menu. We can include a link to another video to show you how to do that as well. But anyways, if you do want to, let's say separately track your sales by location or region, you just use one of these columns, whether it's location or class, assign a region to it. Once you're done filling out all of your sales activity, then you can just hit save and close. 